It's only appropriate that Mrs. C, Mrs. Kaylin calls her Kaylin, unveil the uh, shadow. <coughs> actually carved in reverse so that when you put the paper on top they're printed right side up. So this is the image with a variety of Congo landmarks. Um, Grace McLeod Roberts also as you can see did a number of prints um, that are nature inspired, organic. This one here is of lily pads. We have a duck. This is a, a little flower and this one here too is of fish and water. And down below here you see an ink roller. And they come in a variety of sizes, but they're soft, they're made of rubber, and you roll the ink on top of the surface and it actually produces a nice even layer. The paper is then put on top, you apply a bit of pressure, you can either do this by running it through a press, or the way we did it, using a spoon and simply burnishing the back of it. So, and that creates a little bit of heat so that the ink transfers onto the paper. And then you simply pull off the paper and you get the image. Um, this is a number of tools that are used, very similar to tools that you can use in um, woodcuts. Okay. And so different, uh, different tips, we have knives, V gouges, U gouges, and they're all done by hand. All these prints are done by hand, so that's what we see. And this, I believe, was framed by Dempster's Framing. And Don has done a very beautiful job of showing the process. Very good. <laughs> Sir Grace, I would be very, very happy to see this. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next, we have a presentation from John Earl. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. Um, this is a painting from uh, one of Grace's paintings that uh, hung in our house uh, for many years. Uh, my mom's an artist, for those who don't know, and growing up, uh, Grace was always an inspiration. And you always, I always heard lots of stories uh, about Grace from my mother uh, and met her a few times, but I was just, uh, I was just a little, I, I grew up, obviously. Yeah. Uh, my father was a uh, grad from, uh, from CC. I didn't go to CC. Um, Although I came to have any concerts and uh, that's here. Uh, I guess that's on the audience. Thanks. That's good. That's great. And Verna said that it was a beautiful painting. Yeah, that's me the group of seven. Yes. Yes. Thank you, John. That's that's really nice. We'll go. We'll find a special place for it and do something special with it. Thank Great. you. Thank you, Mother, too. Thank you, John. Well, that's uh, pretty well as a presentation, but I'd like to uh, thank John and his mother for the, donating the, uh, this beautiful painting. Uh, Verna and Marilyn Canet for saving and sharing the unique items crafted by Gracie. I hope you don't mind if I just call her Gracie. That's what I'm used to. And, uh, this is C and Kaylin for for their interest and assistance in the preparation of the one print and shadow box, and Dempsters for uh, framing and the layout of the design. Uh, I hope to see everyone at the CCBS reunion, homecoming we call it this time. So because it's basically homecoming for all all ages. Reunion sounds like it's just for people with this color hair, but it's for everybody at the homecoming. And. Uh, for, Lastly, I want to thank she walks away all the time because uh, anything that's, uh, any event that happens at this school, there's a name that's synonymous with it, and that's Judy Bobra. And she's, uh, she organized this today, and 
I just get to stand up here and talk. And, but she's 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 done all the work behind this, or most of the work. And so now she's uh, I don't know, there's, she's got uh, some lemonade and some goodies uh, that were made by Judy Stewart. And Judy Stewart is excellent. So you're welcome all to stay afterwards. And, Yes. I just wanted to mention that we will have some of the uh, prints that we made from the block for sale during the reunion. So just to let everybody know that there will be prints for sale. Okay. 